Okay, so the way I would uh, normally start this one is, uh, first of all, I recognize that this is a, a ratio problem combined with some kind of set problem. And one of the most important things you need to know about handling a ratio problem is that whenever you're presented a ratio, which is uh, a part to a part, in this case the ratio of Spanish to English is 3 to 2, and you're asked for some sort of relationship between uh, two quantities, the best way to take the uh, comparison of two parts and make it a comparison of quantities is to take this um, ratio of Spanish to English, which is 3 to 2, and then just tag on an x to each of them. So you'd have 3x to 2x. In this way, you haven't changed the ratio at all, but now you have a comparison of quantities. Once you have this comparison of quantities, then it makes it much easier to solve the rest of the problem as a typical, ratio pro as a typical set problem or Venn diagram. So in this case, what I can see is we have two interlapping sets or two overlapping sets. And so the first thing I would do is put up my Venn diagram. So something like this. And in this problem, what they tell us is there's 46 people in the story. So I usually put the amount of people in the story right up here. They tell me six people don't do anything. So I put the six people over here. And um, then because there's six people that don't do anything, then I know that there's 40 people that exist in the Venn diagram. Now, the amount of people that speak sp uh, Spanish is 3x, and the amount of people that speak English is 2x, and the amount of people that speak both Spanish and English is 5 people. So at that point, I can just use a standard formula for solving uh, uh, two overlapping sets which would be the amount of people that exist in the Venn diagram, which is 40, is equal to the amount of people that speak Spanish, which is 3x, plus the amount of people that speak English, which is 2x, minus the amount of people who speak both Spanish and English, which is 5. And then I just solve for x, and I could see that there's 5x is equal to 45, x is equal to 9, which means the quantity of the people that speak Spanish is going to be 27, and the quantity of people that speak English is going to be 18. And since there's five people that do both, there's 22 people that do only Spanish, and there's 13 people that do only English. Now, in this case, they want to know how many participants speak only Spanish. The correct answer would be 22.